Good Tuesday evening, Southeast Texas. Looks like some of the hottest weather of the summer season may be upon us as we head on into Friday and Saturday. Could see highs here locally in Beaumont into the upper 90s. Certainly the mid 90s is very promising and could creep up closer to near the century mark in the lakes area. It's all courtesy of upper level high pressure that is going to be building on into Texas over the next couple of days. This is our shield of upper level high pressure, our tropical shield. That's why Dorian never made it in the Gulf of Mexico. The high will then begin weakening as we head on into Sunday and it'll reform over towards the southeast U.S. You don't want that in the middle of hurricane season. That's certainly not the peak, but the high does move back towards our area say the latter part of next week. So there's a couple days where the gate will be open that we'll have to watch should anything move into the Gulf of Mexico. But I think we're in good shape right now for tonight. Looking at temperatures dropping into the low to mid 70s across the area under sunny or mostly clear skies. I should say lots of sun tomorrow with high temperatures well into the mid 90s and of course no rainfall expected. On the Gulf tomorrow, looking at slightly choppy seas around 1 to 2 out there and an easterly wind at 5 to 10 knots. Our forecast tonight, mostly clear, warm and humid with an east to northeast wind. About 73 in the lakes to the mid to possibly upper 70s in the triangle. Then for your Wednesday, looking at uh, mostly sunny, hot, dry weather conditions. It'll be humid with highs anywhere from 95 to maybe 97, and that means heat indices around the century mark. And your extended forecast, those highs keep going up as we head towards Friday and Saturday. That's when we'll see the hottest weather with that high. And again, this is for Beaumont. Could see close to 100 in the lakes area. As we head into Sunday and Monday, a slight chance of showers, particularly up in the lakes on Sunday. 20% coverage here in the triangle. Then that high begins building back our way. And next Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll get rather toasty again. Download our app, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, there's more weather at 12 News.